The Peterson Bridge Campground is located along the Pine River in Wellston, right along M37. This is actually the only National Forest Campground located along the Pine River in Michigan. Here at this campground, you have a large parking area for walking down to the river and launching canoes, kayaks, or just fly fishing and enjoying the river. And then as you approach the campground, you have a pay station where it costs $25 a night for regular sites or $10 a night for the walk-in sites. There are 20 regular sites and 10 walk-in sites down by the river, and we will check out all of them. The regular campsites have a nice paved pad for your camper or trailer, and then they also have a large yard space with grass and gravel around the picnic table and fire rings. Every one of the pull-in sites has this paved pad and has the fire ring, picnic table, and a lantern post. There are a couple water stations throughout the campground that are not pump stations. They actually have running water, so that's very handy. And sites are reservable online. There are a couple outhouses in this campground, but you also, in the back of the campground, have a really decent walk-in bathroom. We'll check that out here in a few minutes. Here is site number four. This is a considerably large site. Most of these sites are larger than your average campground site, making them really nice. Site number five. You have a couple different dumpster options depending on where you're staying at in the campground. Here's another incredibly large site. It's just amazing how large these sites actually are. We're going to pan over here to another water station, randomly placed throughout the campground. And now we're going to head on down to the walk-in only sites that are down by the water. As you head down there, you pass a couple of outhouses, and then you have a little stairway that you have to go down. So if you have problems with stairs or climbing, the walk-in sites might not be for you. There is a water station down by the river and the walk-in sites along with another pay station and a billboard with some of the local information for rivers and roads and ORV trails. Again, it is $10 a night to stay here at the walk-in only sites. And then these sites are situated more like group sites would be. They're very near each other in a large open space, but you have the same accessories. You still have a fire pit, you have a picnic table, and a lantern post. Here's a look at the river, plenty deep enough for fishing, wading, kayaking, or canoeing. Here's another one of these walk-in only sites. We'll look at a couple of them before we head back to the main campground. Some of them are up on a slope on a hill, so they're a little more out of the way here. Up this way, we have the nice restrooms back in the main campground. We'll poke our head in there really quick to take a look around. Clearly, they're cleaned on a regular basis, and when I walked into this, it really showed it. There was no odors, nice and clean, no litter on the ground. I half expected there to be a shower, but there is no shower. But you do have urinals in the men's room and a couple different stalls here. And then just outside the restroom, you have another pay station if you're on this side of the campground. Bunch more information about the campground. And then here at the campground host, they actually have a spot where you can buy ice firewood. They had a spot with some cold pop, so that was really nice. A small little hiking trail leads you down to where you have a view of a boat launch. So yeah, this is actually a really nice campground.